everybody. Hey, Jules. Good evening. Well, um, this is like a weird live. It's <laughs> because <laughs> very impromptu, pretty much. It, no, yeah. Probably. And like, can I just say, like, y'all have me working? Like, I got used to going live, like, maybe like once a week. And now, like, it's like, come on. I got, you know, now I'm like live all the time again. Ugh. Anywho. So Jules is here because Jules is an expert in is an expert in the of love shows, especially Daisy of Love. Um, and the wild thing about this whole situation before we start and before I do roll call is that we have been talking, we've been bringing back the of love shows. I mean, I just had hoops on from Flavor of Love and I Love Money last week. I interviewed her. We have more <coughs> we have more coming down the track. And I've been doing watch parties for like the of love shows and we've been talking about it and Jules has been up and we've, we've actually mentioned Daisy um, a couple of times when we, when we bring this stuff up, Jules, like when we were on your channel, right? Are you there? Yeah, yeah I'm here. When we were on your channel, you pulled up, you, we, you were talking about Daisy and you pulled up, like, I would believe something, right? Mm-hmm. And it just, the timing of all this is so crazy uh that like world's colliding so let me say hi to everybody and then we'll get in i, I did talk to tom and mariah they 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 gave me some additional information about what's going on sorry i was i have the hiccups while well, you say hello to everybody i will be right back yes let me say hi to everybody um hello christina linda s Susie b addy barbara markham uh Susie q shana shauna Sheila, MW. Um, I, I have to watch the Wendy Williams documentary. Me and Cody been to her show a few times, and it's just so sad. We'll get there. Uh, Jewel, hello. Lisa loves her pup. Coro Corona persona, is that right? Corona persona. Okay. MW, Little Shoe, Snark, Celia. Um, Lisa G. And I think we're good with the com with with the roll call. If I missed if I missed you, um, oh Geneva, Sophie, Ellie, Sherry Kay. I guess I missed a few people. Barbara Warren. Uh, <laughs> hi, and also don't forget that we're doing our slumber party tonight at ten o'clock. It's going to be on the high member tier, the Real Housewives tier. If you've never been to one of our slumber parties. Bring a rosary with you and um in your sleeping a, bag. <laughs> yeah, and a sleeping bag. Uh they're all there. I haven't done one in two years, so uh it's the first time we're going to do that again. So that's on the high membership tier tonight at 10 o'clock. Hey MTT. Let me let's get into this uh because this is a whopper of a well story. and before he even does it, if you guys do remember, we were talking a little bit about Daisy and stuff, and I said, ah, eh, she's kind of going through something right now. You, she did, I did not Jules? know. I had no clue that this is exactly what she was going through, but I do know that there's been a little bit of mental health stuff. So anyway, go ahead now. No, and Jules was like, you know, and I was saying that to Tom and Mariah, I said like, you know, my friend Jules uh, has been saying this, that she's been kind of like off the rails a little bit lately. And again, um, Karen Johnson, hello. And I, I stopped my sentence, mid-sentence to say hi to you. So I think I, you should think, <laughs> so forgive me. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, like Jules has been saying, and that's what's made this even crazier. Like, and I, I see that they collide, just like what MW said. I, I, I love a collision of like two things <laughs> I talk about, man. Like when there's a housewives 90 day collision, which isn't all, it's like once a year type of thing, maybe if I'm lucky. Uh, I'll, but like uh, an of love show and 90 day fiance collision, I mean, that's just. What are the chances? Just, yeah, because Especially all, those right shows, now. all those shows have been off the air for 20 to 15 to 20 years. Well, Daisy of Love was like 2009 or 2010, yeah. something like that. And we're in what? So 15 years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So let's let's play the intro and um, we will get to, sorry, hold on. Still on the iPad, but bear with me. Do, 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 not background music. We don't want that. Oh, do we? I don't know. Um, hold on, here we go.
Okay, so I'm going to read the TMZ article. We have their video on Q, thanks to Jules. And <laughs> um, so T TMZ reads this. 90 Day Fiance stars claim Rock of Love's Daisy De La Hoya is stalking them. And in case, again, if you don't know who Daisy is, she was on Rock of Love as a contestant. Then she yeah, got she was trying to get Juicy Julie's man. Yes, she was trying to get Bret Hart. Uh, not Bret Hart. Oh, my God. Bret Michaels. Bret Michaels. Oh, that Bret Hart and Bret and Bret Michaels are kind of close, you know. In a, in a anyway, Bret Michaels, and then she wound up Wait, getting in Flavor own. of Love and Rock of Love just got added to Peacock. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Well, we've been watching them on. Okay, now you just excited John a little bit there. So I, I, you know, we're gonna have to recover. You know, I've been doing the watch parties on that. Um, and also, if you don't know anything about Daisy, she's Oscar De La Hoya's niece, like the boxer from like you know couple of decades ago uh so no i know it's not the wrestler sorry i meant to say you know brett, brett michaels so okay so that's who daisy is um so 90 fiance stars mariah Feynman and tom brooks are accusing rock of love alum daisy de la hoya of stalking them in their las vegas neighborhood according to cops um in a police report obtained by tmz mariah and tom tom allege the first instance of harassment occurred in january the couple told cops Daisy chased Tom in their neighborhood, got in his space, sniffed him. Like I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt it either. Just that, just like a weird like alley, sniffed him and declare. But I, I believe it. It's just weird to say sniffed him um, and declared her love for the TV personality. Tom claimed she would call out his name in the weeks following, often inviting him inside for dinner. He says he was told by the by maintenance Daisy learned his name through his appearance on 90 Day Fiance. Tom alleges Daisy continued to appear wherever he was in the apartment complex for the next few weeks. The report says Daisy, who fo who also followed Mariah and Tom while they were out for a walk, and repeatedly asked Tom if she can call him a Lyft or an Uber, an offer he declined. Things allegedly escalated a few days later. Tom claims Daisy chased Mariah and him out of their building as they made their way to their car and then got into Tom and Mariah's ride. As, as the pair said they had unlocked their car in an attempt to escape the situation quickly. Thank you, Karen. This, like, this is, this is wild. Um, Tom, I believe uh, they live in they live in the same apartment, the bill, same building, not just the yeah. complex. I believe the same building. You'll yeah, I, see I, I, when we show you the clips. For my understanding, it's like a complex with like buildings in it. That that's my understanding. There's like several buildings. Yeah, yeah. So that that's how, for my understanding, of how I because I, I asked about like you know the situation there, and it's it's a, a complex that I believe it's gated and has like a bunch of different buildings in it. Um, Tom told officers Daisy rushed, rushed, wait, sorry. Tom told officers Daisy rushed by the duo, jumped into the back seat, and refused to leave for 20 minutes until officers were called to the scene. No arrests were made. The couple says they eventually asked management to move them to a different building. There may have been, there may be even footage of the whole thing. Tom, Tom claims he has multiple videos of his, of his exchanges with Daisy. Um, and I think that is the end of the article. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. So then I'm going to pull up, hold on. So, yeah. And these are, it's, it's very, it's very upsetting to me. Like, I mean, I, I've always known that Daisy is a little different. She's a little eccentric. You know what I mean? But like, you guys will see in this, that this, this is pretty disturbing. Okay. So it's for girls. Yeah, here we go. Don't stop. Don't do that. I love Tom. Okay. Do you hear her? She is screaming, oh, I love God. Tom. Do you love me now or something like that? Can you play it again? It's Yes, I can. There's there's definitely more of this too. This there's there's different clips. He's got several different clips that they've done. And 
that's Mariah. And, you- <laughs> and that is Faye, her dog. Is that, wait, is that is that Susie that was in the doorway? That's Susie. That is, is that, that Daisy is Daisy. That was- yes, that is Daisy in the doorway, and that is her dog Faye. Mm-mm-mm. Yes, hold on. Some friends of hers gave her books today, and she thanked them. So I think her friends. Are, I don't know. See. <laughs> Do you think you want to dinner? There's more. Here, this is the worst one. She's laying face down with her dog next to her, sobbing and just whatever. Like, is that like, is, is that like by the pool or something like that? Like, I like think so. That? Or a dog park. I don't know. That looks like it could be a dog park or something. I don't know. Or some just a park. But yeah, that is, and look at you guys. She's face down and she's crying. She's not well. This is very, very sad. Oh, wait, you know what? Maybe we can. I wonder if closed captioning will help. Let's go back. Let's go back to the dinner. What I think is, is she's probably, I don't know. Is she drinking maybe? And then she hears them come out and she's making dinner and she's like, hey, you want dinner? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think she's yeah. trying to take them to dinner, but by the way, so is Tom, yes, Tom is in the U.S. Obviously, he's in Vegas. Yeah, he's been he's been in the U.S. with in Vegas with Mariah for a while. Well, she used to Daisy used to be dating a guy. He was like in his sixties. He was an older guy. He used to take her to Paris. He used to take her all over the world. And now this is kind of happening. So closed captions, you get. Oops. Wait, Jill, start over with the closed captioning because I have to watch, I have to watch this whole thing again. again. Stop. 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 That is crazy. He wants to make it. Is that the only one, Jules? Yeah, that's the only one that they had. That puts all of uh, Tom's clips together that he had. But you guys, that was some, that it's, it's sad. It's really, really sad because she was sobbing. Like that's, uh uh-oh, I lost my, I lost my thing. Hello, you sure? Can you hear me? Oh, you can hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, okay, isn't that Coco to see her sobbing like that? And you guys, there was a time, It's it's been at least a year probably now, and I don't know if she was leaving a psychiatrist appointment or a therapist. And she went on a, a Facebook Live and the police were called. And then there, I think actually she was removed from their office by the police. Um, it's just something's not right and it's sad. It's really, really sad, and it's just very odd that Tom has become the obsession of her. And maybe, maybe in a weird way, it's because of the reality connection. But the article read that like she she found out who Tom was because he was on Ninety Day. It didn't seem like she knew. Oh, uh, so she was already she was already scoping him out. No, no, I think it's the opposite. Like I think, where's the article again? Um, because how they you think she. Was- she sought him out because of the show. Hold on, let me let me get back to that. That. Um... Yeah, but see, here's the thing, MTT. She really doesn't have family like that. She doesn't. Her friends okay. are her family. Tom claims she would call out his name in the weeks following, which we just saw. Often inviting him inside for dinner, which we just saw. 
he says he was told by maintenance Daisy learned his name through his appearance on 90 Day Fiance. How do you, re like, did she know who she, he was because she watched the show and was a fan? Or no, did, or you did know she what? know who he was because she had to ask around, oh, who is this guy? And It's the like obsession with the show. Scroll up to MW is me uh, comment because she is dead on. I completely looked over that and I forgot that because I wasn't paying attention to the Hold whole time. The Tom Cruise thing, it was, she said, I just did a quick Google search. It looks like recently Daisy's been obsessed with Tom Cruise posting and she was. That is absolutely positive so maybe tom became her new obsession because i don't know yeah to me like how i took it was that like she didn't even know who he was and then she found out he was on tv that's how i that's how i interpreted it oh you mean like she didn't know anything and then found out he was on tv and it was like oh i gotta be a part of it yeah uh, yeah that's well I, and that would tie in with this that's because it just it. seems but it is true. There was a whole Tom Cruise thing going on about it. And I completely forgot about that. All right. So I'll get to what Tom told me. All right. So, um, cause I did talk to both Tom and Mariah. Um, I asked them to come up, but they, they, they're out. So hopefully this week sometime we'll have them up and they could talk about it. Um, cause Tom and Mariah have been here before friends to the show. Uh, so, um, I um I messaged Tom when I saw the article and I'm like, oh my God, Tom, why didn't you tell me about the he goes, I tried calling you, and then he showed me his call log. I'm like, okay, well, you did try to tell me about it, but okay, so I missed that. Uh so um I said, you know, how did this all start? He said that that they had a file police report. She's ju she jumped in her car, wouldn't get out for 20 minutes, chased me down the hall saying she loved me. Um, and I said to her, I said to him, is she like a neighbor? And he said, yes, I, I didn't know that they had lived in like in an apartment building. I just thought they were like houses in a, you know, gated community, like, like, you know, in, where Vicky Goldman, Vicky Goldman lives, like type something like that. So it makes more sense now that now we see the footage. Um, so um, she is a neighbor. Um, I said, this is wild, Tom. How long has she been stalking y'all? And he says there are a few reality TV people and raiders that live there. So people, so I guess a lot of um, celebrities and, and athletes live in this building. Uh, the uh, Not Oakland Raiders, now they're Las Vegas. The, a lot of Raiders players live there. Uh, other people from rea other reality TV shows live there. So this must be like the Melrose place of like, celebrity living in uh las vegas no yeah right well and that's probably why daisy lives there maybe it's the recommended place to live if you've had any type of celebrity you know what i mean tom says every time i walk past she would open a door and follow me around um she's not well bless her but scary you know because this is for two months and then I said, like, I was told by my friend Jules that she lost her mind recently because um, I've been interviewing cast from her show. He goes, that's crazy, to say the least. Um, and then Tom says she had one of the Raider players have to call the police, also jumped in his car and wouldn't get out. So another, so what? she pulled this with somebody else from the Las Vegas Raiders football and She's team. just a little thing. She's just a little, little bit. Daisy's tiny. She is tiny. But Thank goodness she is, because if she was bigger, she might it might be scarier, it might be easier to get her out of things. I mean, so tiny, but and Tom says, luckily, you know, we haven't seen her um could because we moved to we moved. Um and uh I go, Well, did you move because of her? Obviously they did, but I had to ask it, you know, yes. Um, um and then the video on TMZ article has her saying, Tom, I love you and crying outside. Um and then Tom said she doesn't even look like the same person, which when you showed me the pictures of her. No, her hair is no longer blonde. Uh, she, she's she been going to the gym a little bit lately. Um, but yeah, I mean, she gained a little bit. And you know, the th she was on, remember we were talking about Lacey and the fact that Lacey had a podcast? Yep. If you look, there's video of her being on Lacey's podcast. Here, hold on. I'm going to see if I can find it in the background. And I'll let you know if I can find it and then you can share it. Um, 
because if you see the way she looks, because Daisy is somebody, the videos of TMZ are scary. The ground trying to climb. No, she wasn't climbing under the fence, I don't believe. She was just crying on the ground, I think. You know what this reminds um, me of in a sick hmm. way? Amanda Bynes. A little bit. Because Amanda Bynes had everything going for her. And Lord, like I just saw her like, and uh, she popped up somewhere on my feed on one of these outlets of social media. And I'm like, oh God, she's still not well, that that poor girl. Uh, but this kind of reminds me of Amanda Bynes, this whole- Dang, this was thing. two years ago. I thought this was, lo I thought this was more recent than this. This is, um... <laughs> so I really, I, to be honest with you, I really like 12. Is that Lacey? Yeah, guy. you can, you can I put it up. him were really- great together also and watching watching it back when like when you guys left and he was he was on the airport runway just like by himself <laughs> just like so sad and like defeated and like dumped like friend like newly dumped and he's like watching you like fly away <laughs> into the heavens with the other guy you know um what it's not funny but it's funny <laughs> it, it, it was funny it was funny but what <laughs> Like I'm not trying to like laugh. No, no, it it was like, but it's just like, like when you, you look back at it as like it's it is. <laughs> it was oh my god, that it, it was like kind of sad. I'm like, oh, poor twelve pack. Oh. Huh? That's Daisy. Like, not I know yes. that's Daisy on screen right there, but that's who she's interviewing. Yes. And how old that was this that? was two oh. years ago. This was this one was it says it was two years ago. Uh, yeah, two years ago. Rock of Love. I thought it was more recent than that. Because I remember when she met up with Lacey and she did this. It didn't seem that long ago. But yeah, that is Daisy and that is the way she is. And if you guys can even see the way she talks. I mean, she was always like a little bit, you know, but. No, yeah, keep playing. This is. this. And is I don't think I don't think she does any drugs either, guys. I really don't. I don't think drugs are the thing for her. So, like, I was surprised he I was surprised that you didn't have a connection with him that was stronger and also flex perplexed the fuck out of me. I didn't see that. Like, he doesn't seem like, a type, not that I know your guy, but he doesn't seem to me like a type of guy that you'd go for. When he was eliminated, he didn't really give a real reason. So like, why not 12 pack and why flex? <laughs> I, th I think like 12 pack did that to himself. Yeah. I can't remember, but I think 12 pack decided like he, he wasn't going to be, he didn't want to go with that. If but the way she's like, like so like, he's like talking, if, fidgety, very yeah. fidgety, very. You can no, who no, hasn't girl, gained? Yes, exactly. Who hasn't enough. gained weight? So that's not a big deal. But just the way she's carrying herself, because you know, like honestly, Daisy, she, you know, usually women, they, especially if you know that there's going to be a camera there, you like to fix yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, uh, if you see Lacey looks perfect. Look how she like and like how her cap is. Low, if you choose like, Josh, then I'm I'm just gonna eliminate myself. Well, that's ego. He was talking, like, clearly. yeah, he was like so angry about that. But he's like, if you choose Flex, then you can choose. It was like a whole, and I was like, and I was like, and what I and no offense, I really was excited to have like I thought it was gonna be down to like twelve pack and Josh and Dave, I should say Dave. Yeah, and um, and Josh being London, and Josh being London, talking about and, 12 pack, 12 pack and from. from 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 I love New York. They're talking about the show. They're talking about Flex and Twelve Pack in London. Yeah, the Twelve Pack, the, like Twelve Pack from I Love New York, was on Daisy Love because I I don't mm -hmm. remember that. You don't know that? Yeah, Dave. Dave I was know, on watched, there. Hey, yeah, Fly. Good them, to see I you. I don't remember Twelve Pack being on there. Okay. Yeah, okay. totally on there. And no, he made it to the end too because the um. But then I she picked London, this, this, right? Because he like and then because he left and then he came back. Because he came like, back. Yeah, he came so back and pushed everybody off. Okay. At the end of the day, he, yeah, he made, there was some like thing that basically was like, if you choose, okay, you know, he 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 like x himself out mm -hmm. because he's like, I'm not gonna go if you choose, um, because it was down to those three, and I was like, well, I'm definitely gonna choose one of those people. I'm definitely but choosing her mannerisms, like, yeah, her and like the this. other two, um, I I wanted I wanted it in my head to be, um. Dave, but mm -hmm. he didn't, he didn't, I don't think he wanted to do it. So I think that that's how it ended up oh, becoming okay. Flex because Flex was like, well, I'm, I'm not going to fucking bail out. Like I'm here. Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> I'm down for this. Like I'm going to beat that. <laughs> yeah. But, I got to um, see where know, Flex is uh, these But days. did you feel a connection to Flex? But like, pause it for one second, Jules. <laughs> like, 
And thank you, thank you for doing this for me because no I am okay without computer. But like, look, look, this is the perfect shot. You know, you see Lacey's all done up. Like this is a studio of some sort. You know, she had- She knew uh, this was gonna be recorded. Right, Daisy had, and like, this is what she chose to wear. Like, you know, it looked like she's been in those clothes for like weeks. And with the hat pulled down real low, so you don't want to see the eyes, there's, there's clearly no makeup on her anywhere. Like her hair looks like it hasn't been like touched in like years. And the all this, th this girl is high as hell. Like, you well, know. either that or it just unmedicated. And, and I mean, cause this is, this could be medication as well. I don't know. And like I said, I know well, she's it not going to be high on medication too. Like, you know, it could be prescribed to her. It could be like, you know, she's abused, but there's no, there's no way I can look at this and say, oh, this girl is right in the head. Absolutely not. No yeah. way. Oh, well, here's the thing, Christina, they don't usually talk about it. This was like a first time they've done this in a really long time. And I think they were just like kind of asking about the show. So, okay, hold on. let's finish it up. <laughs> Just because I know, like, there's Brett Michaels, there's Charles, there's <laughs> London, and then Flex. Like, you know, no offense to um, Flex. You know but... what? No, no, no. So over the years, oh, Charles. Yeah, TJ. Oh, I remember Charles. Charles is his ex boyfriend. Is his name? Who ended he up with Lulu? Really, I think. Um, had her dog. Her other changed. dog. He had changed. Lulu Vanderscroft. That was her other dog. And, you know, in grown up, I would say a little bit. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, he grew his hair out. And, he, and then he did get literally, you know, my taste in men have drastically changed though my my taste the men i don't think he's i shouldn't say like drastically changed but there, it's a little different as far as like what i what is more attractive what's appealing to me and like more it's more you know some different things than what it was before so um i think he, he he's actually a really sweet guy yeah he's a really cool guy he's really um smart and all those you know and um but um as far as you know, physically and all that stuff. I think he's a really good looking guy. And, um, but he just, we just, yeah, we weren't, I, for me, I wasn't making like a real, real yeah, connection. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, it would, and at that time, I wasn't capable of making like real, Oh, she is wiggling um, the nose. Friendship connections with she people either. Because I was no, very no, no, just no, no, in my own no, world. Like that. Hey, everyone, it's Lacey. So, wow. That, um, that is interesting. You guys, I'm going to see what else. Hold on. I'm going to see what else I can find here. And while um, pulling up more stuff i'll tell you i'll tell you more but like there's no way like she's like this and this and like you know and couldn't stop moving and and you know uh, -uh that girl has been up for days i'm sorry <laughs> i was a bar there's a lot of she's very bajiggity as i, I call was a bartender it for 20 years and i did my share of living in my 20s okay so like i don't know but that that what i just saw is someone who is not in their head. Now, I do want to say that, oh, no, that was, well, okay, she has been working out, though. There's a picture of her here where she's been working out, and she looks great. Um, So, like, body-wise, she doesn't look like that anymore. I'm trying to see if I can find a picture of her and the guy. Wait. Um, And show you the guy, the older gentleman that she was dating. But here's my thing. It's like, oh, boy, here we go. Uh-oh. Here's her in the Tom Cruise shit. So, okay, there's a picture of her and she, oh my gosh, I think, she, oh, I think she actually met Tom Cruise. Looking like that? I, got, I, I have no clue if this is really it. Hold on, let me pull up Facebook. Nobody on my Facebook message me right now. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody because you will come up. So anyway, if you pull it up, look, this is a picture. This is a picture of her. And it looks like, is this really Tom Cruise? Did she go meet him at an event? That is not Tom Cruise. That is Tom Cruise. But so this was, and this was July 13th, 2023. That is not Tom Cruise. So this was around Tom the Tom Cruise, Cruise era. First of all, like, no, that is not Tom Cruise. I think it might be. No, it's not Tom Cruise. It, look at his hair. Oh, it's one. a fake that one. Susie says Cruise. it's a fake one. It could be a fake one. That is not Tom Cruise. I mean, she looks good there, but the, I. first off, that guy looks like it could be off a, a cutout board, but that is not Tom Cruise. No way. But yeah, look, this, look is, this is right around the time when she was doing that. And here's the thing is she could have doctored. She probably doctored the picture too, because look at the line down. Oh no, that's the sun. 
Yeah, you can see that's the sun because there's a bar across both of their faces. But look at the hairline. Like Tom does not have like, you know, wispies in the front. Like he's balding. This guy's balding here in this picture. Like, no, that's not Tom Cruise. That is no way. That is Tom Cruise. Uh, and obviously, I think there's some type of filter on her face there, I think. But yeah, maybe not. Maybe just fake uh, eyelash eyelashes and stuff. It could be a but, low grade um, Tom Cruise impersonator, um, but that, that that is come on, you know. And like, but Tom this Cruise, was part of that. Tom Cruise doesn't have titties like that and rolls either. I mean, like we're talking about Ethan Hunt here. He's still doing Mission Impossible. This is this is not this is not Tom Cruise. No, it way. so makes me want to reach out to Tina, her friend, um, because Tina. Not many people like she doesn't really have family like that. She doesn't. If and that's Tom Cruise, he's... I'm Queen Latifah. Look, 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 look. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, drop it down for a minute because I want to look for more okay. stuff and I don't want to show everybody everything. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Uh, remove from stage. Okay. There okay, there we go. Okay, let me do some more investigating back here. That is no way <laughs> Tom Cruise. Like, that is just the, like, and if, if that really is Tom Cruise, Lord, and he's in more trouble than we, then let's send him a gift basket because he needs the help. No, but he's still filming Mission Impossible. Do you think Tom Cruise? No, no, uh uh, sorry. But that was exactly the time period. Because, you know, it's so funny because you guys, I forgot about it. Because I really, I, I saw that she was going through some shit. And that's why I don't want to. You know what I mean? I don't want to have her on any channels or anything when she's going through some shit. And right, I forgot right. all about the Tom Cruise stuff. I'm going to scroll back for it with it. See, that's our one. We have one common. Fr oh, so this is one of this is her special profile. Cause No, it's not. She's got fucking 6,000 people following this. <laughs> because how we used to have more friends in common. On the other one, we had way more friends in common. Um, let's see, because this now is just Tina. I want to try to scroll back to the Tom Cruise shit because she was pretty. I, I need to see more that. pictures of her with Tom Cruise. Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. October 13th, 20. Don't put it up yet. Oh, uh, it says October 13th. What? Tell me when to put it up. So, so okay, I'll tell you when, but not now. Okay, she just says, I'm finally printing out my TC photos for my birthday. I hope they come out good. That means Tom Cruise. Yeah, so TC. no matter what, oh my gosh. And then was Tom Cruise wasn't in the outsiders because here she's talking about the no, outsiders. No, he, he was, he was, he was. Was he? He was. Was he? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, he was. Tom Cruise was like I think a soda pop. Yeah, Tom Cruise was. Oh, yes, he was. Yes, Sorry. he was. That's why she's posting I've this shit. I've seen that movie oh too many times. Yeah, Tom Cruise was definitely in. Oh, yeah. my gosh. October 11th, 2023. In case you missed my newest podcast episode, Get real with Daisy. Check it out here. And then it says, happy Tom Cruise Day, 10, 10, 23. In Japan, it's currently Tom Cruise Day. I'm a bit early here in the States. It's a bit early to celebrate it, but I can't contain my excitement any longer. So in honor of this special day in Japan, I thought I'd post a new podcast episode. Oh, boy. Let's see what this is. Oh. And she's how got a podcast. She's got a podcast, and she's got the most recent episode, February twenty fourth, twenty twenty four. You can oh, pull so it back up if happen. you want. Look at this. Get real with Daisy. Do I pull it up or no? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, it's not Facebook, so we're good. Okay. Uh, so look at this. Is she's got a podcast? Thank Get real you, with Daisy. Shoe. Go ahead. See, look at new episodes. This is from uh, 10. Uh, this is from then. Happy Tom Cruise Day. But here's this. Should we listen? To, I wonder what this this episode is about light and kindness, along with a special dedication to one of my best friends who I've known for some quite some time. She, along with many others out there, expressed so much love for me. So as my best friend, this episode is dedicated to her. I wonder if this is going to be to Tina. Hold on a minute. Let's see what she has to say in this. How's this work? Play it. No. Come on, play. Where's it taking me? Uh-oh. Oops, I landed on a... What? How do could that be? Do you, do you want me to take it down? Yeah, take it down while I figure out how to get there. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Maybe I have to go listen on Spotify. Let me go see if I can find it here. Yeah, you guys, we're going down a little rabbit hole together. 
<laughs> we're following this all by all together. Um, oh wait, where did she see. post that picture of her and like the fake Tom Cruise? By the way, where, that was where? on her Facebook. And people are people weren't commenting, "Yo, lady, that's not Tom Cruise." Like, <laughs> like, like, not many people were saying anything about that. It's very all of it is very weird. Okay, wait, get real with Daisy. I'm gonna try to look it up on uh, Spotify. This is nuts. It's, it's very, very sad because she's a beautiful girl. She's very talented. Yeah. No, I agree. It's sad. And I, I think she just needs some help. Um, yeah. And you know what's really funny is Tom totally looks like uh, her type, too. So I can see why she's doing that. Um, I could. He totally seems like her type. Oh, look at this. So, OK, you don't even need to bring it up because it's only sound. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see. This is the most recent one. Let's see what it says. I mean, because it's only nine minutes. Hello. Happy birthday to you, Miss Tina. Yep, I Here just told you. Song that I what did I tell you? I bet it's Tina she's talking about is Tina. I'm not going to start putting some of my songs on here um, instead of uploading them to CD Baby or iTunes. I'm just going to start uploading some of them on here. Um, I'm not really, they're not really complete albums yet. They're just sort of weird instrumental songs. And this one is a song that I wrote for one of my best friends, Tina, uh, because she has done so much for me and I love her Tina so much. Her birthday was on February 21st. And she actually um, was the one who flew me to New York for the first time ever since the pandemic. I had not gone anywhere. And this is her since podcast? The pandemic, yeah. which was in 2020. And she flew me to New York on uh, July 20, um, July like 10th, 2023, which was last year. And I had not been out of the country or anywhere since then. Uh, since July, um, since January 2020, which is a long time for me since I, considering this I travel like all the yeah, time, like, it's really, really, really depressing. Well, I think and she does sing a song for Tina, but just like, we don't have to listen to it. Horrible, horrible voice and was just barely like getting over Hold it. Hold on, let me see if I can and, ask for it. And um, in a really sad, like, and let me know what you think. Here we go. Oh, let me know what you think. Let's see. The song for Tina. Her friend. She's very tiny, too. Let's see. Oh, look at drum machine. I just don't want to get shot on fire. In fact, because I've played some of her music before on her YouTube and stuff, like Monster, and I never have. She was saying, I'm blaming you. I'm like, close friends with a lot of other. <laughs> okay, so she never sang in that. That was just like a drum machine. So, okay, we, well, we scrolled through it. Important friends of ours. And so her birthday is on February 21st. Okay, we talked like about that. We're like a soundtrack, just, like, just the way things have been going in my life and how I feel about stuff like Wait, that that I'm doing right now just because I don't have a whole ton of time to put everything particularly together so let me know what you think if you like it if you don't like it if you think it's it's kind of different I know it's a little bit weird it's sort of like a soundtrack just like just the way things have been going in my life and how I feel about stuff lately and um I have I have like a bunch more, probably like six more or something. And um, yeah, so I hope everyone's doing good and hope your first couple, I can't believe it's only February actually. Oh my gosh, okay, that's enough because that is just painful to you. Yeah, like, I, like thank God you like, stopped it because I couldn't take another Yeah, time. it's just, well, I, I was hoping, I, when she said something about like things going in my life, I was wondering if she was going to like allude to you know, something there. So, right. so obviously she doesn't talk about anything in her current life. She's making songs on a drum machine. That's what that sounded like, a little Casio keyboard that you could program. Oh um, and there was no singing in it. And the thing is, is I love her singing. And Daisy has such a stage presence. I When I met Tina, 
Tina was like her little tour manager when she, hold on, let me bring myself back on screen. Uh, Tina was her tour manager when she toured after Daisy of Love. And that is the, that's when we, that's first, that's the first time we met. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we met a couple of times after that. Anyway, um, she was so good. The, oh my gosh, you should, you guys should see Tony, who I think, I don't know if, remember if he was a bass player or the guitar player. I can't remember. I think he was the bass player and Tony was amazing. My niece was like hubba hubba with Tony. He Georgie. Was um, anyway, so like she just, she looked like a rock and roller. I mean, you guys saw her on the show with her blonde hair and like she had like little colored streaks in it and stuff. And um, and she just, she is meant, she's one of those people that are just great on the stage. You know what I mean? And, and to see that now to what she was sobbing on the road, you guys, that is just, that's just really hard to even see. It is. I mean, you guys all remember her. She was a bubblehead on the show. And unfortunately, was, like, you know, not, there's not a lot of us that were gifted with watching those shows 20 to 15 years ago. Like, you know. Uh, so a lot of people don't understand, but I know that we all want, uh, Daisy to be good. And even Tom and Mariah want her to be okay. Like despite like this stuff going on, um, let me tell you what Mariah said, because I didn't get that. I didn't get that far yet. Um, so Mariah told me that she has a connection to the, the Las Vegas police. I'm not going to say how, uh, but, um, that connection that, that she has with them. And apparently the entire police department is very well aware of who she is. So this is like an ongoing thing with her. Um, and she's known as crazy Daisy. That's no, yeah. well, there was a song on the show called crazy Daisy. You're driving me crazy. I guess she drove herself crazy. I mean, like, and if you're looking at what we just saw with her walking through the, you know, when I'm walking through the hallway. Well, laying on the ground, sobbing. That was the worst. Hey, John. That yeah. 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 I mean, like that, that I would, if I saw that girl like in the hallway doing that or on the, her on the ground, be like, okay, that's crazy Daisy. I mean, like, you know, uh, so, um, um, let me see. Um, okay, you could bring this picture up. That's Tony. This was from when I see there she is. Here's Tina. I th or was that Tina? I don't know. That's not Tina. That's somebody who came up on stage. Tina's right here. And there's Daisy. There's Tony. Isn't he? Isn't he hot? Who's Tony? Tony? Hot. He was her guitar or bass player. He's definitely a bass player. This bass guitar. He, he was a bass like, player. Um, he looks like Lip from Shameless a little bit. Oh my goodness, my niece was like, look at this guy. My niece has got her hand all over his chest. <laughs> <laughs> but that was back in uh that was back in 2010. Okay, so, so uh but that was uh that was them in the band. But uh there's a picture of my niece with him that looks even better, but I'm not gonna show my niece's face. Uh but no, she it's just it's just so sad. She's so talented. You I brought her Barbie on. dolls. Mariah I did. She wanted Barbie dolls. I brought her cupcakes and Barbie dolls. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to show you guys. The, I'll find the cupcakes I made for her. I made cupcakes. I brought them to her. Well, I'm going to get the, them because um, the day when I'm guessing, okay, I mean, hold on. The, okay. Took her away at the six call. So I said to Mariah, I go, did they arrest her for anything? And she says, yes, they took her away after six calls. So Mariah said an ambulance took her and um, after finally, an ambulance took her after several Metro calls were made to the police. And, um, and I said, was this when she wouldn't get out of your car? And she said, while she was in my car during the day and wouldn't get out, I had to leave her in the car, at, at, in, her, in Mariah's car and walk out myself. Then later that afternoon, Metro was called by another Raiders player because she jumped in their car and wouldn't get out. So first she was in Mariah's car from 98 Fiance, and then she decided that she would get into a, a Las Vegas Raiders football player's car as well. Um, and even Mariah said, you know, she looks so different, poor thing, I feel bad for her. I said, hopefully she gets the help that she needs. 
I said, do you know what happened to her after they took her away? And Mariah said, I believe they took her to rehab. Um, and um, I, I asked if, if she's still in rehab, but clearly she's not in any type of rehab at the moment, right? Because she's posting as, you know. Yeah, she posted on her Facebook. So she's she's still, I mean, she's not excessive posting or anything like that, people. There's a lot in this picture. So I'm kind of glad that I just found it. This is a picture of the cupcakes that I made her. I Hold made on. special ones. Pull it we up. were finally meeting in person. Is it good? No, to pull you up? gotta see it. Wait, everybody's gonna love these this picture. Wait, do I bring it up? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Just move. You guys, okay, so these are the cupcakes. You look at that. It's it's there's like supposed to be dirt on it. It's oh, look skeleton. At the true blood stuff. I love true blood. And that is why I'm showing this to you because the true blood stuff is in the background. Remember, I told you I have real bottles of true blood. Uh, That's them. And look at I have a true blood flask. I have the little true blood candies. I still have them. They're somewhere in my closet. And then of course there's a little silly bear with glasses. Re recap like true blood like what's lots all those again i love i miss that show yeah so. and i still have one bottle of it i think i, I think miss I still that have show. one op unopened bottle uh but aren't those little cupcakes cute see I they have them. the little bows for daisy little skeleton ones i thought they were cute she That's loved pretty them creative. pretty creative i like it um <laughs> Yeah, I wish I could show you the ones with her, like us backstage, but it's got my niece and all of them, and you know how you guys are. Can you, like, but. blur out, like... Yeah, it's I'm not good at that on the fly. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll say that for Someday, because I'm sure we, I, we would like to do, uh, I'm sure, a uh, 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 update on this, too. Now, oh, I yeah. tried looking. Now, I wonder if it's in Clark County, because I did try poking around a little bit before the stream to see well, if Vegas I could find it. Clark County, so I would assume that. But is it like because I looked under her name and there's nothing under her name? Did you use like the Vanessa name or? Yeah, like, I don't know, uh, but her real name is Daisy. Is Rita in the chat? I know I saw her before. Hey, Rita. Rita. She has two different last names. What's the other last name, Rita? Rita, Rita how know? about the Heather stuff? We're going to talk about that later on. That's a whole other thing to unpack. We'll talk about that tonight at the slumber party. It is Clark County. Yeah. Because I just, in a really quick search, I did not find anything. Nothing under her name, period. Rita says uh, Grove and Massman. Oh, Grave or Graves? Daisy Grave? Oh, so it's kind of, oh, Grave and Mossman. Really? Huh. That's weird. I have Ooh, to look more. Uh -oh. But I just feel oh. so bad. And I never really poked around too much because I like her. Uh, but it's just it's just really sad to know that this kind of stuff is taking place. Oops. Oh, there's two different. Oh, no. What was that? Oh, no Sorry. Oh, I hope Music. I started playing. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh -oh. um, so wait, there are two, three, two or three different sites to search for Clark County. Really? I don't know. Well, we're going to have to look. We'll have to see. But I really hope that her friends help her. Her friends. Her friends sent her a couple books and she thanked them. That was her last post on Facebook. So I don't know yeah. if she sees yeah. my message. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Ooh, wait a minute. I think we all want Daisy. And even Tom and Mariah. She responded. Want, she responded to you? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. An hour ago. Hold on. Hold on. Uh -oh, hold on. I have a graphic for this. Hold on. I have to play it. It's not a, it's, I don't, you know, I don't get to play it that often. So, yeah, I don't usually get messages on Instagram or on, on Facebook Messenger, and I wasn't expecting it. She's like, Hey, Julie, she's like, How are you? <sighs> Jules, maybe you should have her on your channel and invite me to be up there with you because I, you know, I need to be a part of it. Uh, I think that'd be great. Ooh, wait, yeah, I'm going to have to talk to her about that. I really didn't expect her to respond to me that quickly. I, Because you guys, I messaged her right before we went on. Ooh, we. I, I think that'd be great for your channel. I think you should have her up. And, you know, you, you are friends with her. You've been close with her. I think that'd be a great interview. Mm-hmm. 
And by the way, while Jules is reading that, just a um, friendly reminder that we will be going live at 10 for the slumber party. Uh, it's going to be on my high members tier. And uh, we're going to do a giveaway, I think. And it's going to be fun. So, um, yeah, that's at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Um, and there you go. Jules, what are you going through right now? I want to know. <laughs> oh, no, I just responded, but uh, she responded. I wish I would have heard it when she did. She did. It was like an hour ago. So she responded right away. So I don't know. So, and I I don't want to have to do it on the fly. I don't want to. Yeah, no, yeah, of course. I don't want to upset her too much and stuff. But yeah, I kind of want to hear her side of it because it doesn't look good. I mean, as far as like, I just worry about her. Well, I mean, like, you know, this gives reason to worry about her because clearly there's something off, right? You she didn't know, say and anything, MW, not yet. All she just says was, hey, Julie, she's like, how are you? And um, and then, because I didn't see it until just now. So I just oh, initiated. I, I have the, the deets on that one. You'll also see you I just initiated five. more conversation and kind of let her know, like, hey, you know. Oh boy. You're talking about that. Look at my look at this wing I have over here. Like, I did not what was I even looking at my phone for? That was not what I was looking for. Cause I'm like, wait a minute, I'm like a Facebook message. That's usually just like my sister or um the Pam Slam. Yeah, her first name isn't Daisy. It's the Vanessa. On in Facebook, she's Vanessa. Vanessa de La Hoya. Right. So, but you, you're talking to her, so that's that's great. Like, you know, you should keep that going because uh, big news. And Ooh, you have a Yeah, I didn't expect her to respond like that. So, yeah, guys, we'll see what we can do. Uh, because in that, like I said, that's why I really didn't dive into too much. And I kind of brushed over it because I like her. I really do. Uh, I think she's talented. I, I love and and... It always seems like the people that have talent like that um, is uh, they're oh, they're eccentric. You know what I mean? They're yeah. No, I get like it, like a, like a Howard Hughes type of thing. Uh, but you know, hey, I think she's been to the Playboy Mansion. You know, it's not even you know. She, it's, I know Tina she, has. She's in with football players and, um, you know, who's ever in the, I guess, the complex that they live in. I, I want to go to Tom and Mariah's apartment building and see who the fuck I can find there. <laughs> like, I wanna, it seems like a, a treasure trove of like, just like a lot of cool people. Uh, so I, I want to go. Um, invite me over for turkey. So, no, not turkey. I hate turkey. Um, but that's cool. Uh, is there, you know, I, there's other 90 day stuff that's going on right now that I don't want to mix in with this because no. right. uh, we'll cover it. But let me tell you, y'all got me working and I'm a little annoyed with it. Yeah, uh, I know. He's just like, I wasn't even prepared to this. He's like, you want to go out with me? And I'm like, sure. I'm like, give me a chance to get home. And so uh, I saw that. And Jules was the absolute first person that popped in my mind because I've known Jules since 2020 now. And like one of the first conversations I ever had with Jules was about like Daisy. Of, like Daisy, the, yes. Stuff. Yeah. We, and, we talked but, about this way back when yeah. about what, how much we love the shows and stuff. And that's what, like how we started talking. So I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, and I, I knew that Jules was, you know, friends with Daisy. So I'm like, okay, you're an expert on this one. I need you uh, here. But yeah, it's, um, I don't know. And, and again, just because we had hoops on last week and we, I've been, I was doing watch parties on Twitter, TikTok, um, Instagram, watching I Love Money. And it's just now that this comes out, like one of the people from the Of Love shows and Daisy right. you know, had her own Collided. show. So it's crazy. And one of the cast members that you happen to know personally and you met, yeah. you met Tom in Vegas, didn't you? Yeah. I, yeah. Tom and Mariah. Sure did. Um, I see Tom and Mariah are fighting with Scott in the comments. Oh, the guy you just had on the other day? And I said to all of them, I said, welcome back to the Thunderdome. Like, you know, my comments section. <laughs> you know, my comment section on, on IG is just like the Thunderdome. It, oh, they're fighting in your, on your, in your IG? Everyone's always fighting in my comments. Like, 
that's I mean I I just turn I I just turned my ID private to try and weed out like just randoms like because like I, I can't take all, every time I post something no matter it could be like a bunny eating like some grass how dare you like that's grass abusement like I, you just can't ever win so like I I I, I, I made my 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 profile private again for like the first time in like I don't know three years so it, it's private to try and weed out some of the people who just want to fight but. My, my comment section has always been the Thunderdome, man. It is. And I said to I'm like, welcome back. Welcome back to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> that's going to be my theme song of my channel. Welcome to the jungle. Um, but um, yeah, there's yeah, other so nice This is definitely going to be a continue, uh, continued story. And Jules, we'll follow up. that you can get her on your channel. And of course, I have to be there just because, you know, um, I have to. Uh, but get her on your channel. And that that would be an amazing interview. Yes, it would. It really would. Plus the fact I would like to I would like to show everybody what a great person she is and how talented she is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you know yeah, what I mean? Sorry. Just to kind of counteract a little bit of what's going on now, because, guys, here's the thing is. And I'm not like saying that Tom is wrong whatsoever, but we all are a little crazy sometimes. We all look a little crazy sometimes. I mean, I don't even know, like maybe she's joking with him and she's, who knows? Who yeah. else? Although jumping in the car, that's a little different. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but like some of, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think anybody here, including myself or you, wants anything bad to happen to Daisy. I think mm -hmm. that we all just want her to be okay, including Tom and Mariah. And this isn't like, well, yeah, you know, well, I, I believe, didn't he say that he didn't press charges? I believe that right, was even you know, said yeah. in there. He didn't press they charges. They want her to get the help that she needs. And I think and that's just, what we all know. want. And um, I, I hope that Daisy bounces back and, you know, she's she's clearly going through something. And I don't want to make fun of her for that because I've clearly gone through stuff and Jules has gone through stuff. And yeah. Like, <laughs> We we all get like the little ticky ticky boom boom in our brain. Yeah, there, exactly. Right? And you know we go we go through some shit. Like you know again, it's not easy to be a public figure, whether you're on TV, whether you're a YouTuber, you know, whether you have an IG account that never shows your face. Uh, you you're still kind of a public figure, and we all deal with it. How we deal with it? Sometimes great, sometimes not great. Uh, and that's how it works. Uh, so. I really just think, you know, hopefully, according to Mariah, she did she did get to rehab, but maybe, you know, and then Mariah told me that was a week ago, so I don't know if she went, I don't know if she stayed, um, but hopefully she, she gets back on track. That's all, really, right? That's what you want? Exactly. Okay. Do you have anything else, Jules, before I end this? No, nope, I'm good. All right, so guys, join us at ten o'clock for the after uh, the after party, the slumber party. Um, we, it's bring it's, your snacks, and we'll talk a little bit about the Heather stuff that happened yesterday. We talked about it a little bit on my channel, but we didn't get to do it over here. And I have no idea about any of this Heather stuff. So yeah, she saw the baby yesterday, so and it upset a lot of people. So we'll discuss all of that this evening, and I believe it's the highest tier. Yeah, so uh, the real you gotta have your bag. nicest uh, sleeping bag. Yes, and um, and your furs. <laughs> um, so, bye, and Jules. Thank you so much for being here with me today. You're very welcome. Uh, you know, I asked Jules to be here. You're an expert, and she was like, absolutely. So, thank you for being here. And me and Jules will see you both at ten o'clock on the high tier. Bye, everybody. Thank you. See ya.